Hi. Welcome to our channel. My name is Ally, working as product representative at Gotaso. As we know an online meat ordering and delivery system having five deliverables. Admin panel or dashboard, store manager or vendor app, delivery agent or partner app, customer app, software for POS. We will cover each deliverables in a new video, each video will explain the core features and functionalities of deliverables. This video will help you to understand about the features and functionality of vendor or store manager app. You can also find the links of other videos in the description of this video. Without any further delay, let's continue with the store manager app. To access the store manager app, we need to log in in our app using email or phone number with password. After login, we can see the list of all the orders with its status like pending, accepted, ready, etc. To see the details of a specific order, we can click on the view details. Here on the top right corner, you can see the problem button. This problem button help you to cancel an order with specific reason. Let's see how it works. If you will click on it, you can find the reasons for an order cancellation. You can also type any specific reason by clicking on another option. Like this, you can choose the reason and cancel an order. Now, a customer will receive the notification about the cancelled order. Here, you can find the details about the order like order ID, order type, delivery type, customer name with contact details, items details, and payment summary details with the taxes. At last, we have option for add notes, this is useful when a customer wants to give you call for an order update. You can simply add the notes whatever the customer is letting you know over the call. As we can see we have a new order that we can accept by clicking on accept order button. In the same way, you can update the order status as per the requirement. Here on the top right side, we have order status filter. By default, you will see all the active orders in the list. But you can filter the orders according to the filter types like active orders, all orders, completed orders and cancelled orders. If we will click on any of the option, then we can find all the orders with similar status. After orders, we have product section. Here you can find all the products with its prices and visibility status. You can add the product by clicking on plus icon. Here you can enter the title, price, unit, discount and category information for adding the new product in a catalog. If you want to update any specific product information, then you can click on a product. Here you can see the basic information like product name, price, unit, discount, category and images with its variants. You can update the details whatever you want to add in future for any specific product. You can also search the product by clicking on search icon. Here you can type the name of the product and within a nanoseconds your entered product will be visible on the top. We can also filter the products by its category and subcategories. To choose the category or subcategory, we can click on filter named all which is a default value here. It will show you the list of all the categories and subcategories. Now, if you will click on any specific category or subcategory then you can find all the products associated with it. You can also turn off the visibility of any product from your online meat store using this toggle button. When you will disable this visibility settings, customers can't see the product in their catalog list. After products, now we have wallet section. Here, you can find the earned available points that can be redeemed in the future. Apart from this, you can also find the list of transaction amounts that are processed for the particular order. You can also withdraw the money at any time as per the financial requirements. To withdraw the payment, you can click on the withdraw button showing on the top right corner and send the withdrawal request for an available balance. Now we have profile section here. Here you can find the store details with name and address of the store. You can update the store information like store logo, phone number and store name as well. If you are on holiday or during an emergency, you can also turn off the store visibility from customer app using this toggle button. Now this will mark the store as closed in the customer app and your customers will be unable to make a new order from this store. To manage the categories efficiently, we have a setting for categories. You can click on the plus icon and add the title for the category. In the same way, you can also add the subcategories for meat products with the title and photo. In case products under subcategory are out of stock, then you can turn off the visibility of any particular subcategory from the customer app. After that we have promotions, you can find the list of all the promotion coupons with the details like coupon code, validity, discount and description. You can also create a discount coupon for the store. To add it, 
You can simply click on the plus icon and fill the details like title, coupon code, discount, description, validity period and usage limit, etc. Next we have manager profile settings. Being a store manager, you can update the name and photo of yours anytime. After that we have settings for password, here you can update the password details using old and new password credentials. Next we have help and FAQs, here you can find all the answers related with the store app. Apart from this, you can also reach to the owner or support team of the business using this support button and contact them via call, email and chat them with the WhatsApp as well. And last, this is logout button to get out of the manager, store app. So this is all about the working and functionality of the Meet Store Manager app. Apart from these standard features, if you have unique requirements for an online meat business then you can reach us by an email at sales at or you can also contact us by call at the given numbers.